You guys, um, give yourselves a pat on the back because that was about a, an 80 minute workout. And I know that some of you walked in here thinking, I can't do it. Some of you walked in here thinking, I'm new, I don't know the steps. Guess which time is the hardest time when you start something? The first time, it's the hardest time. And I always tell some of my participants here, you can't fall off the floor, right? If you're on the bottom, if you hit rock bottom, if 2022, 2022 is the worst year you've ever had, it can only get better. And the fact that you're here today, you've made a commitment to yourself that you're choosing for better, not bitter. I know you're getting a lot of messages right now at the top of 2023. In the fitness industry, we love to talk to you about shrinking, reducing, burning, shredding. And that's why we here at Refit, we're not going to say those words to you. We're not going to talk about how to shrink yourself or make yourself smaller because what we know is that that's not where transformation starts. Sometimes that's where it ends, but that's not where it starts. So this year, in 2023, what we want to talk to you about is full. Fullness of who you are. The fullness of who you were made to be. Your flaws, your imperfections, your strengths, your weaknesses, your size, your shape, your attitude. All of it is who adds purpose to this earth. And you do that through impact, not by size. Amen? Okay, so this year, when you hear shred, burn, out but in the next year ahead we can understand more about who we are and who we're becoming because we're always in transition right okay third living or L is living everybody say living living your life not watching someone else's living your life not watching someone else's that's how we're gonna live this year that's our purpose to stop looking to the left and the right to tell us whether we're doing a good or a bad job. Keep your blinders on, live your life, and do it with purpose. And the final one, L. What do you think that word is? Love, loving others. And don't forget to love yourself. You cannot give what you don't have. And if you do not love yourself, you cannot give that. Here's the thing, love is an infinite resource. You know what isn't? Time, money, job, life here on earth. It's not, that's a finite resource. You never run out of love to give to others. But the only caveat to that is when you don't love yourself first, then it is a limited resource. So as much as you're going to give to love to others, I want you to even think about how can I give that to myself. Because then you'll have an endless resource to give to others. Okay, let's recap. Make sure we get it, okay? F, what was F for? Filled, oh my gosh, A plus, you got it. U stands for who you are and who you're becoming. L stands for living your life, not watching someone else's. And the last one, loving. The next time that you think about dropping a pound, burning a calorie, or showing up for a workout because of what you ate, Stop yourself. And remember, we're living full this year, not skinny. We're living full, not lean. We're living full, not shredding. Everybody say full. full. I love you guys. Thanks for being a part of what we did today.